What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. You're probably wondering what's up with the missing front bumper. Uh, I'm actually getting it resprayed by my boy. It's about to come out minty. Just doing a little, little things here and there to clean up the body a little bit. It wasn't really that bad, but I just want this thing to be super mint. So I've been doing little things here and there. And today, got another piece for the interior. It's the JDM push start button. Um, I'll do a little unboxing for you guys. Pretty small package. This thing's pretty fire, bro. Here's a little update on the whip. Still haven't really driven this thing because my freaking wheel is cracked, bro. Sheesh. That's not the worst one. Look at this, bro. I've tried fixing this. <laughs> I've tried fixing this wheel like three times, bro. So yeah. On the good old spare. Just been sitting, waiting for my new wheel to come from Japan. So until then, then just been sitting. And obviously, I got my uh, bumper from my boy's house getting painted. Sad, man. I can't wait to bring this thing out, though. It's about to be so clean. It's going to be worth it. So let's get back to the install. All right, so here's the OG push start. And I'll be replacing it with the JDM. For this install, you're gonna need a Phillips and a flathead. And of course, your replacement push start. And don't forget common sense. The first thing you wanna do is uh, unscrew this Phillips right here. You may not see it. But uh, it's down here. All right. Now, once you've uh, unscrewed that, there's gonna be a little panel pulled from here, straight back. And put that to the side. And there's gonna be a, a tab in here. This is where the uh, flathead's gonna come in handy. You're gonna want to push it down to release the push part. And you just uh, pull it out now. Finesse this thing. Dude, working on your car with bucket seats is not it. Sometimes I'm not even gonna lie to you. Now you just push from the back, push the button out. And then the replacement, you just slide it right back in the same way. There's only one way it goes in. Here's a little comparison side by side. Nice little, nice little spiffy button, you know what I'm saying? Not too bad. It's gonna pop. I like it. And then, uh, you know, just back it back in. And then just a click. And put your uh, plug back in and try to finesse it back past the column into its normal spot. There we go, and of course, the last piece. Match all the tabs up. And then put your uh, Phillips back in. 
and now just test the uh, test the battery out. Of course, I ain't got no power. Freaking thing has been sitting for a couple months, but uh, I'm gonna go hook it up to a jumper and uh, show you guys the illumination, and everything of it. Right. So I'll just hook the, the car up to the jumper box. Button's illuminating as it should. Okay. All right, yeah, everything's working as it should. Solid. Here's the, the new button. Looking all clean. I like it. We got the carbon fiber from last video. Too bad, man. I like it. And that wraps up this video. Peace.